Hey guys, welcome in. Thanks for coming in for a video today. I thought we would provide a little entertainment today with a jewelry jar. And I have two, actually one of them is really small and I thought we'd take a vote and see if you wanted to open this really cute little one that looks like it's full though. And looks very interesting and I can't believe it was only $5. I need to go back to that store. I thought it was $9.99. I hadn't seen it in a week. $4.99. And then versus this one that's eight, $80, $79.99. And I don't think I got a discount on any of these because they rarely have them out on discount day now. And uh, so, no, I've been paying full price for them. Hey, Doug, how are you? <laughs> Vanessa, Ruth, I'm glad you guys are here. Thanks so much for joining me. We do a lot of this type of video, guys, here on this channel. I hope you love looking at jewelry. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe button is, is right there on the right. The subscription is always free. Just hit the subscription button. Be sure and hit the bell while you're over there. And um, the... The like, the little uh, thumb that's pointing up, hit that one as well. All of that really helps the channel grow, and I certainly appreciate it. Um, sometimes we also go to thrift stores. I love taking you live. I do like to record these videos as well. I just haven't had a chance to do a whole batch of them, which is what I need to do. Maybe I'll do some afterwards. And that way I can load them up every other day or something. That would be fun to do. But uh, thank you for being here. Let me know, should I open the little cutest little jar ever look at that what is it about five inches tall or should i open the 80 dollar jar bag actually which we always open these really expensive ones these are the ones that are be a little bit on the rare side right now honestly because i can't even believe i found this in a jar and then in another thrift store not the goodwill which is where i usually get them this one i got at salvation army all right, while well, we're waiting for a couple of people to come in, both, right? This, these take so long, though. They take about an hour. I'm going to show you the rings I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Cartier 18 karat gold tri. I forget what they call these. I forget what, what Cartier calls their ring. Puzzle ring? I don't know. But anyway, it's um, rose gold, yellow gold, and white gold. And it kind of interlocks. And then these are two matching wraparound rings that I have. At the tip of my fingers. I actually found these at a thrift store at, and one came in a bag. <laughs> that is so funny, but they're identical. And then I'm wearing my wedding ring, which is actually really big and I can't believe it. It's gotten big on me. I usually wear my solitaire in front of it. And then I used to wear it, it was kind of uncomfortable. So I'd wear it behind it because it was tight. Now it's big. Maybe because it's late at night. I don't know, here's a beautiful vintage. Harvey era style. I adore this ring. I think I got it at an auction. I really like it a lot. And then this is a beautiful Tasco. This one's actually signed by the artisan. And um, it's just gorgeous. It really is pretty. It's an, am uh, what do you call it? Amethyst. Um, lapis. Lapis. And it's got those beautiful gold specks of pyrite, I think it is. I really like it like that. Some people like the solid blue. I do too, but I really like that one. This is a James Avery, really beautiful little bow. A little on the larger side, but I really like it. I think it's cute. So cute. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with, what do you think? The big one or the little? Let's start with the little one. And if we go too long with the little one, oh my gosh, this one's heavy. We won't open the big one, but we'll see. We'll try to keep it under an hour. Because people complain when they're long. People complain when they're short. People complain about a lot of things. Oh. All right. Well, let's get started on this cute little one. I'm, I'm kind of curious because there's some things in here that look like natural stones. So I really want to see what's in this $5 jar. I mean, it's a winner already, right? <laughs> By mere virtue of its very wonderful price. So thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate it very much. Oh, this is pretty. These are glass. Yeah, that's already pretty. Look at that. Oh, this ring is so big on me. It's actually falling, guys. I'm going to take it off for a minute. 
Let me put it over here before I lose it. It's actually falling on me. That's crazy. I can't believe it fits me so big, so big right now. <laughs> I know. It is a big knife. I usually use this one to unpack, to open my packages. Oh, this is so pretty. It's kind of, um, I guess, art glass. It's like glass inside glass there. That is really a nice one. And... Yeah, all of these are glass. That is really nice. I guess it's about like a, maybe a triple strand. Hi, Maricela. Oh, the last live was a heart to heart. And that's just where I sit and tell you my opinion, guys, okay? So don't, don't, a lot of people were like, do you, do you have the facts about this? And guys, you know, this was an opinion, an op-ed, kind of like, um, what used to be in the newspapers, but now is all over the mainstream media opinion. So that's all it was. I do those once in a while just to talk about what's on my mind, maybe hot topic. I try to steer away from politics. I think I did a pretty good job last night. I did um, kind of just lamented a little bit about what I was feeling, but um, hey, you know, I can't always be cheery. I can't always be, <laughs> I'm certainly not here to answer, to offer any real answers. That was the whole point of last night's show is just to kind of, you know, have a little dialogue and just my thoughts. Isn't this pretty though? I really like this. So please don't, don't ever think that, you know, I'm going to answer any kind of world question. No, I'm just a grumpy old lady that does videos, guys, okay? That's all I am. But we all have opinions. Oh, these are nice, guys. I'm, I'm really into these now. Look at this. I think they really thought about, oh, there goes that alarm of mine, about what they were putting in this jar. It looks like a lot of... <laughs> Looks like a lot of natural stones or artisan glass or art glass, I guess people call it. I think they did a, you know, they didn't just randomly put that cute little jar for $5.99 together. Look how pretty this is. These are agates. No, ja maybe Jasper, right? Jasper is the one that's a little bit more cloudy or opaque, I guess I should say. And please excuse that alarm. I actually have a box full of watches sitting right underneath this desk that come from jars. We all get to watch it sometimes in these jars. And that's where they are. And many times they need batteries, but many times the batteries are like lifelong. Those things have been under there for years. And they keep they keep going off. These are really pretty. Does anybody know what this one's called? This particular Jasper? I know it's got to have a name. It's got such a unique little characteristic, don't you think? The camera is off. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Is it really? I, I thought I was plugged in. Everything should be plugged in. And no camera is on. I can see it. Okay, fabulous. <laughs> oh, my God, you scared me. All right, guys, y'all have to really, if somebody says something like that, and believe me, I'm not saying it about the person that said it right now, that happens. But be sure and chime in if it's not happening for you because I, you know, I may have to abort and I don't want to have to do that if the camera is fine. And um, many times people um, want to um, hijack the, the chat. So, and I'm not saying that's the case this time, but let me know okay i think these are cold too i can't quite tell with these look at this beautiful glass work lamp work on that one and no these are acrylic these are these are glass so it's a mixture here we have some acrylic and we have some glass and then we have some beautiful stations here where they kind of festooned it and they are 
What do you call these? Some people call them wedding cake. I don't know if that's a particular type of lamp work, but I've heard them called wedding cake as well. That's a beautiful color. I love it. Is it too dark in here, guys? Sometimes I feel like the lighting has been so off for me too. I don't know why. And um, I've been trying to put a lamp behind me, but I have a little trouble with the outlet. So I may have to, to get like a floor lamp or something. Wow, guys, can you believe this jar was $4.99? One, just one of these necklaces is triple that. That is incredible. Yes, I'm definitely going back there and getting more. Look at this one. This is the same as that brown one, but these are green. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I'm really happy that you're here. Tuesday. Tuesday evening. Tomorrow they're going to bring us some pumpkin pies at school. My principal just wrote us a email said to go to the lounge in the morning because the PTA had some... Um, pies for us to choose from and to bring home that's fabulous they're always pretty generous like that okay i guess this is some kind of um well what are the green stones that we know guys we know serpentine we know jade but i don't believe these are jade and what's the other one fluorite right very interesting colors though what do you think they are I love these. They did a great job. And like I said, they had this other brown one with these other colors. So that almost looks really nice together too. I'd afraid, <laughs> I'd be afraid to get them all tangled up though, but I love these. They're corded. They're knotted. The little cording is very nice. It doesn't, um, it looks like quality materials. And then they even have a button. A little button clasp. Watching from Jamaica. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. What's the weather like in Jamaica right now? I'll bet it's pretty and cool. That's a really cool jar. All right, I'm lingering and I'm taking too long and I won't have time to do the other big one. So let's see if we can get through this one in 15 minutes. Look at this. These are interesting beads too. Oh my goodness. These are acrylic. They look like a gold stone or something. But they're acrylic. Warm. Rain and Cali. Well, that's an unusual occurrence, isn't it? Or is that in only certain parts of California? These are so beautiful. They are all acrylic. Looks like some natural stones too. And some acrylic, and it, they're, wow, that's just a really fun piece. I don't believe it had a, um, I don't believe it has a clasp. You can easily wear it doubled over twice like this. And those are the cutest beads I've ever seen. These are wood, too. So we have some wood disc. We have some glass. There is some glass, too. Some um, acrylics. This is wood. That is a beautiful little piece. I like that. Oh, is it getting blurry now? Oh my goodness. If it's not one thing, it's another. How are you, Ninja? Okay, picture's fine. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I know last night with the um, heart to heart, I did hear like crackling noises. I don't know what was going on with that. Let me take a quick drink. And, um, and then there's always some buffering going on for some reason. So I apologize for that. All right, I see Tiger Eye right here. This looks like a Chico's or something. Just looking at it, that's what I want to say. And that's a nice chain on there. Look at that big, beautiful tiger eye 
It might even be, you know, Silpata does a lot of these big chunky pieces too. Last time I found a really nice Silpata that had a, an interesting style like this and it turned out to be sterling as well. This metal looks interesting. Yeah, I don't think I see a um, opening on it either, a clasp. But again, you can double, that's gorgeous. Those are so pretty. These are tiger eye as well. And then this is like a faceted tiger eye. That's, oh, here's the opening right here. Let me see if it doesn't say anything. No, I think it looks like silver tail, but let me get my loop. Just to make sure, it does look like a, um, just wait a minute. No, you see what I know? Nothing. It is a 925. Let me see if it doesn't say Silpata. I don't know why it reminds me of Silpata. And sometimes Silpata has their mark on the jump ring. This one does not have a mark for Silpata, but it does say 925 right there on the, on the jump ring. And it looked like sterling to me, but it actually has already turned that um, kind of that brassy color that happens with uh, when it gets that rich patina. So not bad, guys. Bingo already with a sterling silver chain tiger eye necklace. And the jar was only $6. Incredible. Incredible. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Oh, this is one of those illusion style or multi-strand anyway. A little tangled in there. Has shell has, I think, faux pearls of blue. Looks like about two or three. Thank you, Becky, that's sweet of you to say. That's really pretty, guys. Look at those beautiful shades of blue in that. And green, so we have some dyed shell. We have abalone, and I believe it's two long, beautiful strands. Two or three, three. Yeah, that's very nice. I know, I cannot believe that little jar. That's incredible. I did not, ex I saw a couple of shell pieces and I said, well, for $5.99, it's worth it, you know, even if I get one nice piece, but I did not expect all of this. This is pretty too. These are all acrylic. They almost look like a smoke rope and a chain, kind of an antique color. And that's pretty, that's nice and long. Very different. You should be getting your, your little prize from last week. Probably all of this week. This feels nice too, guys. This is really well made. It's a gold tone and a silver tone of rings. Links. Very pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. That's nice of you to say. Yeah, that is really pretty. Well, the first necklace we looked at was fantastic, too. And then it was, it, I believe it was all necklaces. That was a cute, cute jar. I found two more jars that day. That one, I thought it was $9.99, but I bought like three or four. So I couldn't remember. The other ones, I think, were $9.99 and $14.99. So I'm looking forward to opening those jars. Again, those are from the Salvation Army. I'm so glad they are making jars because I have found their jars once. Okay, let's open the big one now. You guys convinced me, and we've only been on 20 minutes, so maybe we can rush through this one. Oh my gosh, this is heavy, though. Um, and I, I got a couple of things from their jars, but they really didn't put much planning into them. I think there was just one nice bracelet that I managed to, to sell. One or two nice bracelets. But... um. Hold on, let me stand up before I kill myself with this knife. <laughs> but then they never had any again. Or they had some with just Mardi Gras beads. Literally, that's all they had on there. And they were only like $5. You could tell they had nothing in them. So I never really bought them. But now they closed down during the pandemic. First shut down. Then they reopened and they started carrying jars. 
That's pretty good. Yeah, this knife is heavy. I'm not very skilled with this. I always have my husband open my packages because I'm always hurting myself. Especially with the big, bulky ones that are so taped up. All right, let's empty a few. And then we'll empty the rest as we go along. <laughs> I'm literally having to stand up to maneuver my way around these lights and cameras, guys. Okay. Ow. Oh, that hurt. That was a brooch. That was a brooch that stabbed me. All right, let's put that up there. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> you asked for it, you got it. Lots of jewelry to look at tonight. <laughs> Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. This is really cute. It's an enamel ring. It's a fun little ring. Look at that. It is brass. I mean, copper. You can see the copper color. It's well made, actually. It is super cute. That's a cute ring. Okay, so we got that. Hi, Lori. Actually, my camera is crooked. That's what my camera is. There it goes. Oh. Let me try to straighten you guys out a little bit. Okay, maybe that'll work better now. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is all safety pins. And they have like um, opal colored beads. Oh, they're just on a little elastic band there. That's interesting. Hey, Miss Casserole, how are you? Princess, oh, this is cute. Look at this, Carla. Reminds me of you. Sounds like something, looks like something you may wear. Look, it's like a little collar. And it's pink. That looks vintage to me. May not be, maybe just a retro piece, but isn't that darling? That is the sweetest blush color. Hey, Mike, how are you? That is super cute. has a lobster claw, but it could have been replaced. I don't know. It feels vintage, but it's very likely just a retro piece. Looks very 60s, sir. So I love that. That's super cute. All right. That's a nice piece. Then look at this bamboo looking thing. No price on it. It's a stretch. Another stretch. This is just acrylic. And here's some earrings. I don't I don't see a mark on them. Could be sterling. Sometimes they're super shiny, you can't tell. But we'll check them out when we match them up. This is Faith. A little faux rhinestone. Just kind of illusion work on that. These are cute. They are matched. Cute earrings. All the rhinestones appear to be there. No, I think there's one missing right there. I see it. I see that empty spot there now. But shouldn't be a hard fix. A little hippie necklace there with some kind of beads. They look like glass and wood. Those are interesting. Here's a watch. And it's pretty. Vanity, I think it says. Vanity Fair or something. It's got a beautiful mother of pearl face. Just a little fashion look there, like a bracelet look with some cat eye. Moon glow cat eye stones on it. That's gorgeous. That really is pretty. Yeah, it looks like it says Vanity Fair. Let me make sure. Sure does. Vanity Fair. Japan movement. Probably a giveaway or something with a subscription. Oh, look at this. Oh, I thought it was a charm bracelet. 
I think it is a charm bracelet. It's got braided chains in it. That is so cute. Okay, there's the lobster claw. And then there's the hook there. That is so cute. Look at that. That's kind of funky and blingy. Big puffy heart. Very cool. Gold tone with interesting little beads. That is so cute. This was a much more expensive jar. I'm expecting more from this. <laughs> Here is um, a Hawaiian souvenir charm. Let me see what it says on the back. It says 12 karat gold filled, Korea, or REA. I think it did say Korea, but it says REA, and it is gold filled. And it is a really cute charm. It says Aloha Hawaii. Very cool. That's pretty. All right, then we have um, some kind of lariat style chain with, it looks like one of the tassels or something fell off of here. So that's gonna have to be a crafter piece. Maybe the other pieces will show up, never know. Lots of broken pieces, I think, will be in here, too. That often happens. We score, and many times we have to dig through a lot of junk. You just never know. These are the um, prices that we pay. That's the price we pay. It's a gamble. This is cute. These are like little ceramic beads. It also kind of looks like a little souvenir piece. Wood and ceramic and... Kind of maybe a tropical look to it. All right. Here's a little stretch black beads. More earrings. This is an interesting bangle. Feels rubbery, but looks like glass. Very interesting on that one. Okay, more earrings. Let's put this aside for a minute. Here is, um, does that say origami owl? Yeah, I think that's an origami owl chain. So I guess those go with those little charm lockets. This is an interesting earring right here. It's broken though. Oh, bummer. But maybe we can just take out these, so you can take that hoop out. We'll see. All right, but we did get an origami owl. I don't think these are sterling, though. I don't think they do sterling, do they? But it is just marked right there. It's a nice little bead ball chain, though. Okay. And this one, is it broken? No, it's not broken. It looks like it's copper, twisted wire. I think this is for buttons or something on a man's shirt, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, here's a brooch. Scotland. Scotland. That's interesting. That's an interesting brooch. This is the one that poked me. It says 105. I, don't, I can't even see what the symbolism is. It almost looks like a... I don't know, a thistle or something? A kilt pin. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's really cool, though. And it almost looks like a little buckle right there. Right? That's a very interesting brooch. Nice and hefty, too. So that, oh, a skull. Hefty skull. Gold tone. Let's see what this is. The skull is really heavy, Miss Lori. It's kind of cool. It doesn't articulate. Gold tone. Very interesting. It looks like it's on a gold tone chain, kind of a Figaro. 
don't see any mark on it. It's very interesting. I like the way you put the chain right through there. I rarely see these in gold, too. So that's kind of interesting. And this is very pretty. Look at those pave rhinestones. That's a nice chain. This looks like it could be a good brand. Let's see what it is here. No, I don't think I see a mark anywhere, but it sure is pretty. I thought it would be longer than this. Wow, this is cute. It's got those, what do they call them again? Trifoil or something? Quad foil, I forget. That is super pretty. Quarter foil, there you go. Oh, I love that. That's a beautiful necklace. Here's something that's tagged made in China. J. Crew. And what is it? Just blue beads? Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Kind of a little nautical look, maybe. With the coral around the tassel. And these are acrylic. But they're very pretty in that navy color. Little J. Crew necklace. That's pretty. Got some beads. Cute earring that's actually broken though. Hey Verna, how are you? Oh, a little snowflake earring. Hope we find those. Here's a match. And these are rhinestones, but there's a missing stone. So that'll go in my rhinestone harvest lot. But I'll wait and see if it doesn't show up in here. This almost looks like gold. So let me see what this says. Let me take a look at my loop and hope we get another one. And it, it is marked on the on the uh, little pin there. And what does it say? What does it say? Craft, S craft. Sir. It looks like it says Israel. Honestly. It looks like it says Israel on it. But it really looks like gold. And uh, maybe I'm not looking everywhere. But I guess I can inspect it further. But can you see where it says? Israel right there. That's what it actually says on that marking there. Hmm. It's a pretty earring. It like it's like a gold tone and a or a white gold and yellow gold if it is gold. And put that aside so I can test that and look for the mark. I feel like it's gold. That's a little piece of nothing. We have a hamsa or hamsa hand stretch bracelet. We have a little tangle here. Of course, the earring is in there. A little chain earring. And this one's interesting, this little. I think I have the earrings that match that. It's like a little black enamel. I have found Black Hills Gold before, but I don't think I've ever found one that's signed Black Hills Gold, just the style. Okay, we did get the matching earrings on these, so that's good. Kind of an opal look. Faux, of course. And more earrings there. I think these are earrings that match this necklace. kind of a coppery color that's cute here's a gold tone bangle and this is coming apart <laughs> it's going into a crafter lot there it went and more very 
Well, this one's not missing anything. And I... I'm going to get my nails all dirty. This may come off. It looks like kind of a glue residue or something. That's an interesting earring, so that may have to be cleaned. That's a pretty earring. I think this is a 1928 because of the scroll work in the back. Very pretty, and 1928 makes this type of jewelry. Style their retro styles. And these are little straps for, I guess, a watch would slide in there. Okay. What is this? Georgia? No, I think it's a sorority or fraternity pin. That's what it looks like. It's got a Greek symbol on it or something. Sometimes these are gold, so I always check these. Sometimes they're 10 karat gold. This one doesn't have a marking. Oh, I've had a few of these before, the little dog paws. That's a pretty earring, too. Let's put those aside. Let's see what else comes in here. Oh, this is interesting. Does it have initial? I think that's a Jessica Simpson piece. Pretty much ready for the crafter heap, though, because... It's got a little bit of wear, but people can still use the chain and the clasp. And, you know, people do all kinds of crafting with um, jewelry that has seen better days. All right, let's see what else is here. Thanks, guys, for hitting the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy digging for treasure in what we call jewelry jars, but they often come in bags as well. This video, we already opened the little jar, but now we're into the bag. And uh, many times we find a lot of what we're finding right now, broken pieces, things that can be salvaged, things that can be repurposed. But we have definitely found our share of real gold, sterling silver, diamonds, sapphires, designer items, everything from Yerman to Tiffany to Bulgari. So we just never know. We just keep going back for more. This is such a cute earring. This is genuine leather. Uh, this, this little thing is nice too a little heavy but very nice i hope i find them look at this piece that's pretty that is very very cool it's signed totsy or something it says t-o-t-s-y and it's on a cord that is so pretty isn't that pretty like for right now and look it's like um what do you call it? Lariat style. That is so pretty and the colors are perfect for Thanksgiving. That is really darling and it is a signed piece. That's so cute. It's got a butterfly. It's got little beads in the bottom there. Little tips. That is super cute. I like that. Very unique jewelry, regardless. We often find super unique jewelry. I have a low battery. This is crazy. I don't know why, but my phone is always acting so crazy. Maybe that'll help. Let me know. If it goes black, I'll see y'all in tomorrow or something. <laughs> All right, we got pieces here. Look at this gorgeous piece. Reminds me of those Russian brooches. But I don't think this is like, maybe, I don't know. You tell me. Do you think it looks hand-painted? It could be. It's got a lot of little, you know, like imperfections. Could just have a coating over it. What a beautiful piece, though. Don't you think that's nice? It's a nice size, too, not over, overly large. Sometimes those things are big. Here's a Superman kid watch. Here is a stretch, nice bracelet. Still has some nice stretch to it. Pretty colors, too. So that's a nice bracelet. There's some more kid jewelry. What does this say? Oh, it looks like it just has the alphabet. How cute. No, it says Luca. Monica, Luca. Maybe it was the whole class. How precious. <laughs> that's cute the whole class probably put their name in there aw 
teachers are so cool with their little projects that they put together. Love that. And the kids love seeing their name. So that's the number one thing they need to do to, to um, be interested in reading and writing is to see their name. Then they're really, they're in. <laughs> they're all in when they see their name. This is pretty. These are freshwater pearls. Someone was going to sell them for a dollar, probably at a garage sale. These are freshwater pearls. Let's see what the clasp says. Sometimes they're gold-filled. Gold. You just never know. This one looks like it's just a gold-filled or maybe even a gold tone. Hi, Rosie. How are you? Thank you. Thanks for being here. And I do not see a mark of any kind. But it's a nice little necklace. And again, those are genuine freshwater pearls. Well, I guess they're called rice pearls. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what this particular size is called. And that was just a gold tone clasp on that. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. I don't think it's silver, but it's a pretty earring. Here is some interesting... Turquoise colored beads. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. That's a nice pendant. That could be turquoise. It looks like it. I'm not sure about the beads here. They, I mean, they're definitely stones. That's gorgeous. Let me check out that beautiful pendant. All right, I think we got our $79 back right here. What do y'all think? definitely turquoise on the pendant that's a very nice piece I'll have to check it for sterling look there is a piece missing though what a shame it looks like the stone from here fell out maybe it's in here these actually look like garnets too look at that they're like little buttons oh my goodness maybe that stone is in here you know I'm gonna you know I'm gonna dig for it but, um, wow, it would be great to replace it, right? It's missing that little triangular cut stone that was obviously there. It was probably a garnet. How pretty was that? Mm, mm -mm. Uh, you almost can't tell, honestly, if I hadn't kept looking at it. But either way, and maybe even taking this off of there would still salvage the necklace. But I'll keep looking. This is, well, this is marked, but it looks newer than the um, pendant itself. And this is marked 925. So the toggle is 925. It's still a beautiful piece. I do like it, yes. And the garnets are beautiful. Yeah, they're knotted in between as well. It's a beautiful piece. Oh my goodness, I'm going to look for something to replace in there. Maybe I can just pop it in there if it pops in here somewhere. Or in another jar. You never know. Sometimes these things get damaged in the bags themselves. Because as you can see, they weigh like 9 pounds and they just tumble upon each other. Okay, what is this one? A little locket. or Not locket, but a little tassel. On a pendant. This pendant's a lot heavier than the chain. That's interesting. Here's a pretty earring, gold tone. Hi, Miss Barbara. This is leather, another beautiful hippie piece. Real leather. This is so cool. It's got some verdigris, though. <laughs> it needs some cleaning. Where is this from? Claire's? I don't know. I can't see what it says. No, pa Panama Jack. That is real leather. It just needs to be replaced. Those findings need to be replaced. Someone would probably really like that. So 70s looking. All right. Here is a necklace. <laughs> Sandy, how are you? Sandy, the bracelet was actually big. I didn't want to bother you because I know you're busy, but it was actually big on him. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Yeah. So we're still holding on to it. Sandy, did you see this piece? It's missing a stone. <laughs> Look how crazy. 
Look at this beautiful turquoise piece, and there's a missing stone right there. I'm hoping it pops out. If I find it, I'm sending it to you so you can fix it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was slightly big, Sandy. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in. It was a little big on him. Okay, this is just... Oh, it's cute, though. Look, I thought it was a long one. Hi, Miss Susan. It's like four strands of acrylic pink. It's cute. I'll have to put this together with an ensemble for my auction. I think I can just do it justice because it's kind of cool. And then, of course, we got the earrings to go with that. Oh, these are cool. What is this? I think these were earrings, guys. I don't know, but it's missing the hook or whatever it is. Hey, Mary. This is an interesting stretch. Awesome, Sandy. I'll have to send it. I think I have a couple of pieces that you need to, you know, when you get a chance, take a look and see what happens. Plus, I may have a stone that you can, that I can throw your way too. Sometimes I have the stones and no... Uh, like I had some earrings that were Native American that match never showed up and it had beautiful, it was like that, what do you call it? Um, pointy, petite point or whatever it's called, petty point, things like that. And then I never matched the earrings. I just, I just need to put them in a package out there so you can do something with them. Lots of earrings. Here's another piece. This is Chico's. This is cute. How does this go? Oh, that's the earring. Let me take that earring off. My fingers are already filthy, guys, just from handling this bag. This is pretty. This is a little Chico. It's kind of um, Pandora-style beading here. Cute, though. Chico's is always so nice. Very nice. And then we have a little gold hoop. A teeny tiny bracelet. Look at that. This is one of those like Indian ones. Here's a, another gold earring. This is not real gold, gold tone. And here's a bangle that looks like silver, but let's take a better look. Now it's got a funky little seam there, but where's my magnet? I thought I had pulled the magnet out. Let me see. I have one here that's kind of weak. It's like a fridge magnet. Well, it works though. So that's not sterling. That's the first test for sterling, guys. If it stick to if it sticks to the magnet, it's not sterling. A list, a list best case, send me a picture of it. Okay. This is cool. This is brass. It's heavy. It looks, um, it very likely is not. Okay, it's a Liz Claiborne, but it has that look of the 60s beatnik designers. Came out of Denmark. I'm not even sure. If the crazy card is in there, he probably knows. Lots of people know about those. Very collectible pieces. That's what it looked like. Okay, I think I found the match to this one. Maybe not, but that's so pretty. It's um, 1928, because I'm putting them all over here, and some of them have probably fallen in there, yeah. Trying to match up these earrings. Okay, let's see what else pops up. Pops out of the bag. Sorry about all that movement, guys. Let me stand up again. Here we go. Oh my gosh, these bags are huge. <laughs> right? We got a lot out of that seven dollar bag though. What was it? Six? We got a lot of good stuff out of that one. Look at these cute. Why is this? Are we back yet? What in the world did I drop? Guys, let me know if the camera's back. It said it was off. I don't know what's going on. Crazy internet. 
You have some Indian braids. They're tiny and textured to force. Yes, sometimes you have to force them in. Okay, good. I'm glad we're back. I have to, oh, look at this, guys. I don't think it's real, though. No. Well, sometimes these are. You can never tell. No, this one looks like silver tone. It's a cute watch, though, to put with some real uh, watch tips. Sometimes the, the watch makes a lot of difference, too. I'm not sure. This is an interesting piece. Could just be dirty. Because look, it's even marked. What does it say there? I'm going to ruin my nail polish. Anyway, that's it there. It's a cute watch. I'll clean it up see what it is. It might be sterling. You never know. Sometimes those watch tips are sterling. Oh, look at this. Goldstone. How cute. Goldstone beads. Drawstring bracelet. I love it. It's darling. I don't think I've ever seen goldstone in beads. I've seen it set in rings and all kinds of stuff, but I don't think I've ever seen it in a in actually a beaded bracelet. That is so cool. And I like the way they add that's gonna be a nice one to wear. And these are some matched earrings. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with my phone? Let me see if I can unplug this. Um, hold on guys, let me see if I can unplug the microphone. Maybe that'll help because it's telling me I have no battery, which is ridiculous because I'm plugged in. And sometimes I think it's the weight of the mic that does it. Sorry about that. Let's see if that helps, and I'll try to get through this. This is interesting that these earrings were together and matched, but I don't see sterling written on it. Oh, my gosh. I don't see sterling written on it, so I don't think it is. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What in the world is going on with this stupid phone? Okay. Hopefully it will stay connected. If not, we'll have to just... See each other tomorrow. This is so cute, too. A green bracelet. It seems to have gotten darker, too. Oh, I really got to up my game, guys. I'm sorry. Told you I was just a grumpy old lady. Look at this. $28 for this? What does it do? Is it like a double bracelet? Like, like this goes in here? I don't understand it. Or maybe it's one of those armband kind. That is so strange. I've never seen anything like it. These are pretty. These actually look like Kendra. I say that because they feel expensive. And I've seen these imitation and they don't feel expensive. This one feels cold and nice. It'd be nice to get the match. There's another earring. Oh, that's so cute. Calvin Klein. That is such a cute purse charm. It's got your little padlock and your little luggage tag. That is darling and a key. That's a pretty one. <laughs> Thank you. I was very, uh, I don't know, everywhere tonight. I can't even get my lighting right. Look at this. This has got a lot of verdigris on it. Lots of beautiful age on it. A little bit older than me, I bet. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's one of those coil memory things. Oh, that's cute. Got It has to be clean, though. Definitely needs a bath. Oh, this is a pretty bracelet. Look at this. This is some kind of acrylic. Is Carla still here? Carla, could this be Bakelite? Does Bakelite come like in this frosted color? Look at that bypass bracelet. I like that. Can't hardly see it with all those silly lights. All those spots are for my light. Hi from Romania. Thank you for being here. How are you? Here's a cute watch. This is a sharp and it's very dirty. That'll go on a crafter lot. And here is another bracelet gold tone. It's a hard bangle. Here's one of those teeny tiny ones that uh, I said look like Indian or Pakistani. Another one. Oh, these are pretty. This costume jewelry, guys, that is that um, like Indian wedding style. Look at that. Looks like real rubies and emeralds. They're expensive. They're actually quite expensive. I'm not going to put it on because I won't be able to take it off. That is beautiful. And even the costume pieces are very expensive. 
And this is definitely gold tone, but wow, that is awesome. Those are all prong set stones. Can you see that? That is some beautiful work. Wow. Okay. Here's a stretch. Fun little ring. Mm, that's a cute watch over here. Very cool. And... <laughs> yes, just the grumpy old lady again. All I need to do now, uh, Miss Kathleen, is start smoking, and then I'll be I'll be a, a grumpy old lady that smokes cigarettes, and maybe start drinking whiskey so I can really get grumpy, really get grumpy, and yell at the the neighbor kids, get to get off my yard, and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Believe me, I'm just joking. I wish I had time to sit in my front yard and watch the kids play. Oh, this is a nice watch, y'all. I'm not sure what it says, but it's heavy. It looks like it says Ocean Tech Fugo or Rip Curb. I can't read it, guys. All right, does it say Rip Curb? It's a nice one, though. It's very heavy, probably stainless. Beautiful face on that, too. And, oh, look at this. This is glass. Some kind of frosty glass on this bracelet. Also very small. I wonder if it's not jade. No, I don't think so. It's not as cold. Some kind of glass, I think. Interesting, though. That's a surfer's watch. Oh, here's another hippie piece. Put that over there. And uh, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's hammered. That's interesting. It's got an exotic looking, what you call it? Closure. This is beautiful. That is really pretty. I don't see a mark on it, but it's really cool. Isn't that pretty? It looks like 18 or 22 karat gold. Let me look Let me look at it in the back, see if I don't see any kind of mark. I do see, it looks like it says Ralph Lauren. Yeah, well, it's very well made, Ralph Lauren. It says R-L-R-L, -L, so but that would be Lauren Ralph Lauren, I believe. So it's a very nicely made piece. Really pretty. I like that. I was hoping it would say gold. Or sterling, but it says Ralph Lauren. Oh, look at this teeny tiny ring. Oh my gosh. Last time I found this tiny little baby ring that was 10 carat and has some name that somebody told me about. Vintage jeweler. I forgot, I forgot the name though. But I haven't taken it off since. This is so cute. Looks like a glass stone in there. It's probably a gold filled piece. Tiniest little baby ring. There it is there. Wow, cute. Oh, here's a nice necklace. Let's see what this is. Let's try to get that chain. Where'd it go, where'd it go? Oh my gosh, now I'm blind. Okay, I did get the match to that earring. Here's another ring that says love. How cute. This one is possibly sterling. Look how cute. Let's see what this one says. I don't see a mark, but it really looks like sterling to me. Look how cute that is. It says love right there across. I like that. That's super cute. Okay. I saw a really shiny chain. Now I lost it. But let me get these out of the way. Silver tone. Kind of a choker style. That's interesting. 
that's broken and it's marked and it says Mexico 925. That's interesting. So I'll have to check that then. I'm It's sterling then. Wow. Look at that. It says Mexico 925. It does have some patina in the back. That's why I thought it wasn't sterling. It could have had a very shiny titanium coating or whatever it is they put on sterling sometimes. And does it hook or is it broken? I can't figure it out yet. How pretty is it, though? I like it. Now that I know it's sterling. <laughs> now that I know it's sterling, I like it even more. Oh, look. It looks like it had some kind of hinge there. I don't know what you could put to replace it. What a shame. Sandy, you still there? <laughs> What's in Sandy this do? Sandy, put a hook on it or something. I don't know. That's so cute. What a shame. Look. Sterling silver, Mexico. Hmm. It's got like little buckles or something on there. How cool. That is really interesting. It probably had some kind of a box closure on it that broke off. Oh, wow. This looks like a Napier piece. Thanks, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. I appreciate it. But it's missing the hooks. I mean, it's hooked on with just the ends, but it needs the uh, jump ring. little white piece there. And those are those sterling earrings I showed you a minute ago. Yeah. Where's the, some coins? Oh, that's pretty. There we go. Very cool. Coins and dangles. Are you guys still there? You're not talking to me anymore. <laughs> I hope the picture's still okay because I was losing power and everything. Here's a broken piece. These are glass. I've seen these bangles in here quite a bit, but they wind up breaking a lot. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, this is pretty, guys. This is wood. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe some kind of a natural stone. Here's some other pearl, more wood. Giant lobster claw on that. That is so cool. It looks like a Chico's to me too. Easily can be strung twice around your neck. That's interesting. Oh, what a cute earring. Look at that. I don't know if we have it all. Oh, look at that. What is this? A magnet? This is magnetized right there. Probably was part of a bracelet or something, don't you think? That'll have to go in a crafter lot, too. Because, see, it's got a magnet right there. So it was probably toggled on a bracelet. Or a necklace is what I'm thinking. A little plastic bangle. Here's that chi very shiny, shiny chain with a pearl on it. I don't know if this is sterling. Let me loop it really quickly. That's beautiful. It's kind of pink. It's super shiny snake, snake chain. All right, it does say 925, awesome. It says 925 on the chain. And this one also says 925 on the back. Of course, I'll test that, but it, it is marked there on the back. It's super pretty. It's kind of a pink pearl. Maybe a champagne color. And then the chain is also marked on the jump ring and on the on the little ends, the findings. And that's a genuine pearl. That's beautiful. That almost looks like a little fish, like those ichthys or something. So that's cool. 
<laughs> Hi, Miss <Ms. laughs> Hi, Umberto. How are you? I did. I opened two jars today. These are natural stones here, guys. I'm not sure what. They feel, in a way, kind of ceramic-y, so they could be little ceramic beads or natural. I'm not sure from here, but they're definitely not acrylic. Yeah, we kind of busted open a bag in here, and there's even more up there I need to bring down. And then I opened a teeny tiny jar. We thought it was too small, so we kept going. But it had a lot of good stuff in it. These are little acrylic beads. They're kind of, they almost have a rose gold color to them, actually. And this is a copper earring, copper tone, anyway. Oh, that's pretty. Several tones of metal there. And... Oh, it's been going okay. I did a whole, <laughs> I did a whole heart-to-heart uh, -heart video about how it, um, it's not working for me. But today was a great day. Today, was not only did I get a project funded from Donors Choose. Those of you who are teachers may know what Donors Choose is. I got a project funded, and I'm very excited about it. And my kids and I did a lot of work today the ones that were in person we did a lot of catching up to do and we we really did some good work today so it was great this is i believe vintage or no i think this is a retro piece just a kind of a design that looks like it's vintage it's very pretty black rhinestones but it's hard it hasn't been working that well but we're we're trying to make the best of it we're swimming as they say just keep on swimming this is pretty thank you so much miss appreciate that this is a gorgeous bracelet guys it's a dark metal i guess a gun metal rhinestones it's got a mesh on top of another metal it's a nice look i like that hi sassy oh good i'm glad you're enjoying the show this one says chico's i think Yes, this one says Chico's. Interesting, I thought these were more like Mardi Gras, but there are some that look a little bit Mardi Gras. But um, they're just different acrylic beads, and they're gold, and they're silver. They're pretty. They look very almost Christmassy. Isn't it? Another earring. and I haven't seen the match to this one. Here's a piece of an earring. That looks a little bit like that gold stone bracelet that we found that I love so much. Oh my gosh. See, Sandy, look at this. Oh, Sandy probably not there anymore. This is coral, guys. And I'll bet the match is not there and it's 925. And who wouldn't want that put into a ring? Oh my gosh. Look at that. This looks like a vintage native piece. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, I got um, I got my project funded, which is fabulous because I've never done that before. This one actually says Sterling in words, and it's very faded. You can see the to work with. Not very many people like them. On a pendant, right? I could always clip it on a pendant. That is the most beautiful piece of coral. It is orange, very much coral, not red. Okay, we have some Mardi Gras beads here. I'm going to put this earring away because it's gorgeous. And I was just talking to Sandy about pieces that, you know, I find earrings and then they're just they're just in my collection because I never got the match. And some of them are Native American and just beautiful stones. This is actually really pretty, guys. They have like little geometric shapes and it's just a nice necklace I, you can't do it four times around your neck but you could easily do three and some of them are even dangle and sorry about the camera and or the i don't know what's going on with the internet this is gorgeous it seems to be it seems to be buffering a lot i apologize not today. I am wearing a James Avery ring right now, but I haven't found any. 
<laughs> this is a pretty little pendant or earring. I don't know what it was. It looks like an acrylic. It's supposed to look like ivory or bone. This is a beautiful necklace here. I don't know if it's sterling. The pearls appear to be faux. Let me take a look at the toggle. I think we just take way too long with these bags. That's why the internet starts getting angry at me. <laughs> I don't see a mark on it, but it's so pretty. Very pretty little necklace with pearls, faux pearls. Lots of little bits and pieces here too, guys. Earrings that may show up in my other jars. I usually buy, you know, four or five jars at once. So I'm not always concerned about finding the match right away because it definitely shows up in other jars. This is a beautiful necklace earring. What in the world is in here? Okay, there's an earring in here. The chain just feels really hefty and beautiful. Okay, it's a matching set. Well, there's one earring. And then here is the necklace. And then here's the other earring. Yes, nice. So we found the matching earrings. They are so pretty. They have like little rhinestones, I think. Or is it? Yes, they do have rhinestones. This almost looks like a Judith Ripka or something. Honestly, the style. And then the chain is like beadball. And then here is the necklace. That's pretty. Looks like it has an extender. Let me see what this looks like, guys. Hold on. I hope we don't lose the internet again. I apologize. I haven't had time to call my internet guy again and bug him. And with things the way they are, you know, so many more important things to to think about than my internet right now. I don't know, because I feel like they've done everything they can until they get, lit. what is it called, optical cable out here or whatever. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then you have the matching earrings. And I did not see a mark on it. But they're beautiful. That's a beautiful set. Wow. That's super pretty. I love that. That's a nice set. I'm totally surprised I don't see a mark on it. Let me check the, the claw here anyway. No, I don't see anything written on it. it. Looks like silver tone. It's really pretty, though. I like that a lot. And let me see what else is left up here at the top, guys, and then we'll finish up because some things were at the very top. Here's a nice earring. One earring. And this kind of looks like the one we found in the other. But this one is acrylic and not natural stones. I can't tell how this goes. 50 cents it says there. Okay, let's see what happened here. Okay, this one says Premier Designs. And It is leather. It almost looks like sterling. I believe it is. Let me see what it says. No, 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 I don't see sterling on it, but it really looked like it. And it's definitely leather. And then this one, is that two pieces? I think it is two pieces. Yeah, it's an illusion. Maybe even three pieces, guys. This is crazy. Okay, it's tangled. It's a mess. 
it's actually in there, so I'm not going to bother to take that out. It's two necklaces here, and this is a pair of earrings. So these earrings match the other necklace. Right? Those are ear That's tangled up in there, too. I can't get it out. They get inside of each other. But, okay, so we have one necklace here with this little green dangly. Then this is an illusion. Might wind up cutting that one if I can't get it out. And then the green one is this one over here. And that one has a matching earring. So far, one matching earring. Broken pieces, little bits and pieces. I have this one earring. I have another kind of a glass pendant that came out of there too. More single earrings. There's always tons of single earrings, but um, we'll see if we match them up. More little pieces like this. This is a nice set of findings though. Look at that pretty clasp. All right, guys, that's it. That was a very long video. Thanks for sitting through it. I so appreciate it. I think that was it. We had a great night. I thought it was a good things in there. The first jar was amazing for $6. I could not believe it. Thanks for joining me. Hit that thumbs up on the way in or out today. And uh, come back and see me again for another video very soon. Have a wonderful Wednesday, guys. Stay safe. Bye.